The Dearborn Heights City Libraries present 5 to 10 crafting series with Eileen and Venus. I'm Eileen. And I'm Venus. Crafts are for elementary children, but all ages are welcome. Each month we will be doing a craft video. Crafts will be available for a limited time for pickup at Dearborn Heights City Libraries and when possible as a download on our website. Now, let's get crafting. This month's craft is Rainbow Craft in honor of Eric Carl's birthday. Happy birthday, Eric Carl, June 25th. This craft is a nod to his book, Let's Paint a Rainbow. Supplies from the kit, toilet paper roll, cotton balls, red, yellow, blue, orange, green, and purple paper strips, from home, cotton balls or something for fluff, white cardstock or stiff cardboard or construction paper, red, yellow, blue, orange, green, and purple construction paper, or crayons, markers, colored pencils, everything else, glue, and scissors. Directions from the kit. Cut long side of toilet paper tube from end to end. Starting at one long end, glue the strips onto the toilet paper roll. Start with red, then layer just a smidge, the orange over the red. Repeat with the rest of the colors, yellow, green, blue, and then purple. Cut excess paper off of edges. Glue cotton balls to the bottom of short edges both sides. Add string to hang if you wish. All done. Directions from home. Cut white card stock down to six by four inches or other stiff paper. Starting at one long end, color the rainbow on your paper. Start with red, then orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Glue cotton balls to the bottom of short edges, both sides. Form your rainbow arch by rolling the paper around an empty paper towel or toilet paper roll and hold for 10 seconds. Add string to hang if you wish. Or you can glue on the rainbow color strips of construction paper. All done. I'm using the kit, as you see here. I have glue, toilet paper roll, cotton balls, and colored paper strips in the color of rainbows. Grab your toilet paper roll, then cut all the way through to open it up, as shown here. Now put some glue on the toilet paper roll, a whole lot if you want, and then find your red strip of paper and glue it to the toilet paper roll. If you have things hanging over on either side or one side, doesn't matter, you can cut that off later. And then you can check and see how much you're going to need to overlap each color. Start with red, then orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So, because we are going to layer, you need to add a little bit of glue on top of the previous strip that was put down, along with glue on the toilet paper roll, and then add the next color, in this case, orange, because it follows red in the rainbow. 
trying to keep my area clean. I got some glue on the table. Um, to prevent that, you can put some newspaper or something down. Again, put a little bit of glue on the last color you added. And then place the next color which in this case is yellow. And of course, we'll repeat this all the way until we get to purple. Making sure to layer over the previous color a little bit. So it starts with red, then orange, then yellow, blue, green, and finally purple. And you can see my strips are not perfect. There are some that show more colors than others. So your strips don't have to be perfect. Then when you're done, cut off the excess at the sides or you can glue them to the underside of the toilet paper roll. For the final touch to our rainbow, we're going to take some cotton balls you can stretch them a little bit, stretch them a lot. In this case, I'm stretching them a little bit and using a total of four. And then you're gonna stretch a little bit. And in my case, I'm putting two on each side. Add some glue and put down your stretched cotton ball. And those represent clouds that your rainbow goes into. And this is what the final project looks like. Here's my rainbow. A rainbow project. And this is what it looks like. And I'm using things I have around the house. So I have a toilet paper roll. I have my glue. I have my scissors. We have color paper, but if you don't have color paper, you can always find white paper and color stripes in so that when you do your project, you can glue that to it so it looks like a rainbow. If you don't have a toilet paper roll, you can also find a stiff piece of cardboard or something. This was an advertisement that came in the mail and it's pretty stiff, but make sure you ask mom if you can use it. So I also have cotton balls to use. So let's get started. Let's move all this stuff aside. First thing I'm gonna do is cut my strips of paper here. And they don't have to be too wide. Oh, maybe three quarters of an inch. I put them all together, but you can cut them singularly if that's easier for you. Okay, so I got all my colors cut. And I'm going to bring in my piece of cardboard. I'm going to take my glue. Cover that cardboard with glue. Now that I have it covered with glue, I'm going to take my strips of paper. And they're a little longer than 
the hardware, but that's all right. I'm going to line them up on one side and then run them across. And you can even take a little extra glue on the top edge because you're going to kind of overlap them a little bit. And let's see. What colors are there of the rainbow? How about orange? Where's our last color? Purple. All right. Now that we have our rainbow, if you turn it over, you can see where I have excess. You can just take the scissors and cut that right along that line, cut off all that excess paper. And then, so now that we have it, because it's not curved, you can kind of bend it and roll it. Or if you have something round, whether it's a toilet paper roll or a glass, you can kind of bend it over that. And I just kind of roll it. So it gives you a nice curve. So then I'm going to put some glue along this edge. And I've got some cotton balls. And I'm just going to stretch that cotton ball out. If you don't have real big cotton balls, you can use two or three of them. And put that right along the edge there. I'm going to do that the same side. Same thing on the other side. Out. And this is sort of like the clouds around your rainbow. Now we got our rainbow. You can hang it. Oh, so we got a little crease in there. Let me get that out. But you can hang your rainbow. If you want, you can even put a hole in the top and put a string through it and hang your rainbow. Enjoyed what you saw here? Subscribe to the Dearborn Heights Library channel on YouTube and be notified when there's a new episode. Did you know that with your Dearborn Heights Library card, you can borrow ebooks, e audiobooks, stream thousands of hours of music, and even movies? You can download apps for your devices or visit our website on a computer. Last blurb, we promise. Stay connected with us at dhcl.mishlibrary.org and on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks, Thanks for, for tuning in! in.